and the Oscar goes to Parasite. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi there. Welcome to another episode of season three of the GSENC English podcast. We are very happy to be with you today. Before we get started, let's say hello to Peter. Hi, my name is Peter. It's nice to be with you today, and I'm looking forward to being part of the podcast in future. So, Lawton, what are we talking about today? Today, we have a new type of episode for you. This episode series is called "Let's Talk About." And today we are going to talk about movies or films. Yes, films too. As you saw in our opening clip, it was the Academy Awards or the Oscars where the Korean film Parasite was very successful, scooping up four awards. Yes, and it was nominated for two further awards also.、Mm. Uh, today we'd like to help you to speak a bit about movies too. So we're going to teach you some film-related vocabulary. Now. There are many types of movie, and the specific name for movie type is genre. Indeed, what are the main genres? Action. Comedy. You always made me aware of drama. And I was falling short. Life with you was joyless. Wait, so then you had to go in. It's the power of Christ. Horror. The power of Christ. Sci-fi. Satan works. Fantasy. Rilla. And animation. <laughs> By the way, if you'd like, you can tell us what your favorite movie genre is in the comments below. So Peter, how about you? What's your favorite movie genre? I'd have to say action thriller because they can be exciting and interesting at the same time. How about you, Lawton? Hmm.、Uh, I think I would probably say that I like sci-fi the most. But to be honest, I like anything with a strong plot. Ah,、oh, yes, the plot, which of course means the story.、Uh, that's another key piece of movie-related vocabulary. If we are describing a plot positively, we can call it strong, interesting, exciting, or fun. That's right. And if it's a bad plot, we might say that it is boring. Weak, thin, or predictable. Of course, we always talk about actors and characters. Also, we say that an actor stars in a movie, or a movie stars an actor. For example, the Mission Impossible action movies star Tom Cruise, and Matt Damon stars in the sci-fi film The Martian. We say that an actor plays a role or character. For example, Song Kang Ho played the lead role in the comedy thriller Parasite, and Samuel L. Jackson played the villain or bad guy in the action comedy Kingsman, while Colin Firth played the hero or good guy. And of course, Daniel Craig plays James Bond. What other words are useful for talking about films then? Well, movies are made up of individual scenes,、mm -hmm. and we often talk about the opening and final scenes of a movie. And every movie has a most memorable scene. Ah! Ah! 
Scenes can be violent. Funny. Moving or touching. Get away from him, Pat. I'll be seeing you. Scary. <laughs> Tense. Hey, what's going on? You hear that? Glory. <laughs> Exciting. Sexual. It's happening. It's happening. And uncomfortable or cringy. It happened. It happened. Again, if you know the titles of those movies, please write the titles in the comments section along with a word describing the scene. So, Peter, what movies have you seen recently? Well, recently I saw the war movie 1917. Uh, as you can imagine, it was very violent, but it was very entertaining and impressive also. Mm -hmm. How about you, Lawton? Uh, so, recently I saw the sci-fi film Rise of Skywalker. Uh, it stars Daisy Ridley and Adam Driver. It was disappointing. So, anyway, we are going to show you a short scene now. We would like you to watch the scene and then send us an email describing that scene using some of the vocabulary that we have given you. Yes, and you can also try to describe the movie in general based on what you see in the scene. Hope you have fun with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you again next time. Yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Hope the podcast today helps you talk about movies in future. Uh, goodbye from me. See you next time. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mark! He's wired in. Sorry? He's wired in. Is he? Yes. How about now? You're still wired in? Call security. You issued 24 million new shares of stock. You were told that if new investors How came How much along... were your shares diluted? How much were his? What was Mr. Zuckerberg's ownership share diluted down to? It wasn't. What was Mr. Moskowitz's ownership share diluted down to? It wasn't. What was Sean Parker's ownership share diluted down to? It wasn't. And what was your ownership share diluted down to? 0.03%. You signed the papers. You set me up. You're going to blame me because you were the business head of the company and you made a bad business deal with your own company. This is going to be like I'm not a part of Facebook. It won't be like you're not a part of Facebook. You're not a part of Facebook. My name's on the masthead. You might want to check again. Security's here. You'll be leaving now. I'm not signing those papers. We will get the signature. And I'll bet what you hated the most is that they identified me as a co-founder of Facebook, which I am. You better lawyer up, because I'm not coming back for 30%. I'm coming back.